Hello YouTube. It has been a minute. It's been almost a year actually since I think I even bothered to film, which I could get into, but um, we're here for a very exciting beauty launch today. Auric. This is how long it took for it to get to Canada. And um, I haven't been excited about a beauty launch in ages. Like I maybe a full year since the pandemic started. I was like, I just do not care to spend my money. I had nothing to review. And then um, some of you may not know who Samantha Ravendahl is. I am more of a recent follower. I've only followed her for a couple of years and I think she's one of the OGs. She's been around for a while. Canadian, BC, Vancouver based, I think. Came out with her own beauty line. And I am so excited. So I got two colors. And first of all, this is the box that it came in. See that little like yes so i got <laughs> i got defiance and temper i don't know if it's focusing that's what we're working with today this is not a clean beauty brand as far as i know i looked at the ingredients it doesn't look like my typical thing but i was really missing a bit of sparkle in my life and oh these are doing it for me guys and every time i've seen someone review these they always wear defiance which is like if you haven't seen the other videos it's this beautiful bronze color and then it's got like a gold sparkly topper and I'll swatch everything too. But I never see anyone put on temper even though they got it. So this is the rose gold one. We're gonna be playing with this today. What does its topper look like? Ah, like so. So let me whip on my face and uh, I might start raging about some Canadian issues that won't affect all of you, but it affected me. So here we go. Dinah back, getting real serious here. Did I get a foundation brush? I'm gonna try and do this quick because it's not the star of the show and feel free to skip forward if you're just here for swatches and whatnot. I'm using same old, same old Sappho I've been using for years. I like to take a pump. Oh, not, not a YouTuber. And then <laughs> Sappho's brush. I think this actually comes with a metal bottom now. I've had it for so long. I've got a mirror over here, so that's where I'm looking not ignoring you, hopefully. Oh, I might need more than my typical one. Hopefully we skip through that for you. I'm debating adding another pump. Because I'm on camera today. So I gotta look better than usual, I don't know. If you can hear my dog in the background he refused to not hang out with me so Ozboz, come on yuck no one wants to hear that okay starting to look a little more presentable if you can call it that get some some concealer on here so as i was mentioning canadian problems when i went to order these i was like $79, two eyeshadows, luxury eyeshadows, and then I think it's $15 shipping. So $79 total plus shipping, right? Ooh. So my beloved Canadian YouTuber, Samantha Ravendahl over here, that I do not know, but I wish we were friends because she seems like a really cool person, um, only has her brand in US dollars. So, as a, someone, I should have realized this for that is like what it means to be Canadian, is it not? Alas, I did not. So these beautiful products cost me, I think it was $129 Canadian. And I'm just really hoping that I do not regret it after I try them. I mean, I want to support small beauty brands. I think uh, Sam and her, her team have worked so hard. Like everything is so beautifully done, but could I order it again for that amount of money? It's like $60 an eyeshadow, $65 an eyeshadow. Oof, oof, oof. So yes, please be prepared. If you are like me, when the restock comes around, oh my God, I'm going like, heavy today. Mm, not sure how I feel about it. That's okay. We're not really here to see me, are we? No 
notice if you have watched some of my other videos you will notice that this is a different background because we were transferred during this crazy time that we live in um, which I found very overwhelming we're transferred like from the most northern part of the province to the most southern of where we are which I'm very grateful for even though it is currently snowing outside anyway so it cannot escape the snow but yeah it was beyond stressful to move on top of everything else right now and we are about to do it again in the next couple of months so I'm thinking of everyone out there and everything they're going through and hopefully you can hear my strife yeah, it could definitely be worse. We are very lucky, but it'd be really great to just uh, be able to hide out till all of this is over. Who knows when that will be, but I found it a very stressful time. Let's not try to focus on that too much because we're looking for some escapism here, but yeah, it's just the reality that we're living in, isn't it? Oh my gosh, my dog is so He's just like going to town. I'm gonna have to kick him out. Why are you like that today, bro? Why? And we're all about the eyes. This is what you do to me. And for our days like this, I like to say good enough is good enough. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that first. So I've got my trusty RMS powder. I bought a second one of this because I lost my first one. Then I found the one that I lost, so. How freaking typical. I'm gonna try to avoid putting anything on the top of my eyes because I really wanna see how these cream shadows perform. I, right off the bat, I assume they're gonna crease because they're cream shadows. But just to let everyone know, like maybe use an eye primer or whatnot. But I'm inhaling powder. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh goodness. Okay, told you I'm, hopefully I'm steamrolling through this face here. Okay, I'm gonna a little bit of that a big poofy brush from Real Techniques. I think it's their blush brush and I use it for everything and it's super cheap in the scheme of things. So I really like that one. And I'm going into 100% pure cocoa pigmented bronzer that you've seen and cocoa gem that I am trying to use up before I move on to other things because we don't want to be wasteful, do we? Oh, man. How do people even YouTube? I feel like I, I cannot do it. Like it was never a job for me, obviously, but <laughs> I don't even know anymore. I'm so far gone. <laughs> okay, is this good? Is this how is this how normal people do makeup? Oh. So usually I like cream products um for my face, but it's so cold here that they're just all frozen, like all my RMS and everything is basically unusable. So I'm also gonna go in, do they even still have this? This is a 100% pure fruit pigmented luminizer and they have multiple ones now. That's how old this one is. Oh my God. And she's dropping things. I knew I shouldn't have filmed today. That's my new takeaway. But hey, <laughs> if I waited till felt like filming. I'd be gone for a year. <laughs> like last time. <laughs> Alright, so I slam that on my face. Try and get rid of some of this dust going on. As you can see, I am also excited to get to the eyes and usually the lips are it for me. So I've got a little Fit Glows uh, lip serum in Go that I've used to death on my lips right now. And then I'm going to use a Jane Iredell lip pencil in Spice. Just quickly, everything is quickly, quick or quick. <laughs> wow, well, I hope people are not watching me in high def because that's pretty close up. Okay. <laughs> I don't even think I've worn makeup at all this month. So face, concealer brows and whatnot. I've got the Plume Eyelash Curler. It's fairly new to me because all my other eyelash curlers broke. Yeah, I didn't know that was a thing either, but it happened. And this one, I think you can buy refill, refill pads for. I hope so. Because that was a big, that's a big win for me in the, in the curler book. 
Can you notice the difference? Ooh! I'm not gonna lie, I wanna do the bronze one. Why did I even buy temper? But <laughs> no, because temper is gonna be pretty. Um, I don't know if it's like a finger thing. I think you can do either or. So I've got a clean Sigma brush. E25, does that mean anything to anyone? Sigma E25 brush. I'm going into temper. I'm gonna give it a little swatch too, because again, I have not seen people using temper. And that's just a natural lighting. It looks like a warm bronzy color. And then the topper, am I doing this right? Oh, there it is. Okay, I couldn't see it on my finger, but the camera's picking it up. So that's a bit crazy. Is it just sparkles? Does it do nothing else? It just looks like glitter. Oh, it better not just be glitter for $60 Canadian. All right, here we go. Get my little brush out there. <laughs> Should have rethought this mirror situation. I do not have enough for equipment. Okay, okay. <laughs> you guys aren't gonna see anything if I do it like that. How about this? Is this better? Doesn't seem like you need a lot for pigmentation, but I'm gonna use a lot. So I've definitely picked up more product on the this side, this eye, which I think you can tell, but it is really pretty. Ooh, can you like smoky in two seconds and it looks like I layered, I used to layer like three shadows to get this going on. Oh, should I not be putting more on? Oh geez, oh, is this too much? Oh gosh, I'm ruining a good thing. I'm ruining a good thing. <sighs> oh, I totally know what I'm doing. Okay, well, if it doesn't look even, I'm sure you'll tell me. I'm gonna make it kind of the same on the bottom, I think. Fill in, little holy section. Fill in. I'll smoke reflect. Did I mention that's what this product is called? Oh, I didn't because I'm not a professional guru, influencer, tuber, whatever they whatever they call them. Um, yeah, I feel like this is like normal girl approved. Like you can just throw it on and look like you know what you're doing. I think. I don't know if it's pilling or whatever. I found it bunched up a little if you use too much product and when I was layering it, so be aware of that. But I think if you just dip your finger in here and you go, is a look, it's a look, I'm telling you. Okay. Now, what does it look like with this topper situation? I don't know if you like dab or swipe, so. Yeah, what this would have been good for is flip in like New Year's on my couch by myself. I feel like the cream hasn't dried down yet and I'm not sure how I feel about that. So that's the difference. Do I want to dab up? Yeah, it's sparkle. I'm not sure how I feel about the top coat. It is very dry. I was kind of thinking it would be more like Charlotte Tilbury's top coat, which almost has like an oil in it. It's sparkly, I'll give it that. I'm just gonna throw on some mascara. 
I actually forgot highlighter, but I guess like I'm using a blush topper highlighter situation. This is Pureneda, and it's just their regular mascara in black. I don't actually know if they have more than one type. It's like between 11 and $14 Canadian, which is pretty good. That's the difference. It's very subtle. It's not like a major volumizing or anything, but it doesn't flake and irritate the heck out of me, so I go with it. Okay, so that's what that looks like. I'm gonna do a quick swatch of Defiant since we're wearing temper on the eyes today. If you don't wanna go see professionally done videos of this, which, I mean, why wouldn't you? There's so many good people. But that bronze is really pretty. I'll probably, I'll use both of them. I'm glad I got both of them. Um, and that's the sparkle shade. Oh, and the sparkle on Defiant seems better somehow. Like, I don't do, like what? Hmm, was that intentional? I hope that's intentional, Sam, because goodness. Um, and that's kind of them together. So that's really pretty. Okay, so final thoughts. Um, I really like what the brand stands for. It is luxury and cruelty free, and I like to treat myself to luxury, but I don't want to support a lot of those bigger companies. Um, so this is really cool. I'm hoping that they grow so big <laughs> that I can buy them in Canadian dollars. That would make a huge difference for me. Um, you get quite a lot of product, five grams or 0.176 ounces. I think these are probably gonna go bad before you use it up. I actually love that they also have a 12 month expiration date, which a lot of cream shadows have about six months. So that's really handy. I think I will be using these just like lounging around the house every day. I wonder how hard they are to get off. I'll update on wear time either in video or in that little box below. That's everything I can think of for right now. You might see editing Sienna, but thank you so much for watching and welcoming me back. And until next time, keep smiling out there. Bye. <laughs>